Hey everyone, Chris here, back in Miss Survival. So I think today we're just going to explore this area. I think it's called the community. And I just kind of saw this barn it has like this green mist coming out of it. I think in one of the tutorial notes, there's supposed to be like a... I think it's called like a nest or something. Yeah, that thing. What the heck is that? Uh, apparently you could throw like a Molotov or some type of fire to get rid of it. Let's check it out. We have a gas mask that we could equip with T and we should be okay to walk in here. I'm just hoping nothing... I'm just kind of hoping nothing spawns out of this. Like, what is that? Okay, I hear footsteps and I don't know what that's about. Oh, it's a heartbeat. What the heck? Okay. I thought it was footsteps from upstairs or something. Okay. So, eventually we do want to get rid of stuff like that. Because I don't know if that just maybe spawns infected or what's going on with that. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and move on. Let's check out this house. Not hearing anything so far. Alright, let's check upstairs. Nope, no one's here. But I guess something to keep in mind when we're choosing like a base is how empty the place is. Because as far as I can tell, you can't get rid of this stuff here. So maybe this wouldn't be a good location. Just because there's so much stuff everywhere and it's like, we can't move it out of the way. Right, well, there was nothing really good here, so let's move on. Let's go ahead and head down to the community. By the way, I did distill the water, so now we have, what, 2.47 liters of water? So we should be good for thirst for a while. Okay, so there's nothing in there. Got some cola, painkillers, okay. Sewing kits. I might start looking for more of that stuff because I believe there is equipment crafting. So that might be good in the future. Oh look, we got some more of that like green mist. So there's probably another one of those like weird blobs in there. Oh, there's definitely some infected in this house. Let's see if we can lure them out into the sun. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. Okay. Let me go ahead and close that door. Nope, never mind. Any more? Yeah, they're having a party in there, man. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. He's getting pretty close. And I think there's still one more. Yeah. And there's like some more in that building. Three maybe? And that's not counting for maybe upstairs. Oh, so I just found this alcohol bottle. And it says it could be used for Molotov. So we'll hold on to that. Maybe we could clear out that barn. Or one of these buildings. I'm not hearing anything else. So we should be in the clear. We need more shotgun ammo. Dang, 50 cal ammo. But I don't have a gun for that. Okay, so I'm finding actually a lot of food. I could really use another backpack upgrade. Because storage is always a huge concern in this game. Oh, cool. SWAT helmet, okay. That sounds really useful. Let's pick that up and let's see if we can equip that. It says it provides good protection, so awesome. Yeah, nice. Hopefully that keeps us alive a little bit longer. See, I, I need we find some good gear in these houses. I would really love to find like a pistol. Because I'm finding lots of ammo for like revolvers and stuff like that. Oh, oh, a M4 rifle. Okay. Is that the 50 cal ammo? Hmm. Okay, let's see what that needs. It doesn't say what type of ammo. Well, I'm sure we'll find some ammo somewhere. I mean, there's so many houses and like, I don't know if that's like a, a store over there. So I'm sure we'll find something. Kind of want to see how we make that Molotov. We need an empty bottle, a rag, and like soap or something. Yeah, let me see if I can get that stuff because I want to try destroying one of those like nest things. Okay, so I think we just have to move on to maybe one of these stores. Doesn't sound like there's anyone here. Oh, nice, the soap. Again, I gotta get rid of something. I just noticed Apple said I could like harvest it. 
I don't know if that means I could get like the seeds or something. So this is kind of like a little star. Oh, the bottle. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. Takes about 10 minutes, so not too bad. And then let's equip that over the crowbar. Nice. Do I already have boots? No, I do not. Okay. Sweet. So let's go ahead and equip that. Yeah, bad protection, but again, it's something better than nothing. So I guess if we do run into like bandits, we should be okay. Oh, nice, nice. A revolver. Okay, that's really good because there's so much ammo for that. Okay, so I think I'll go back to the house, pick up all the ammo. And then I think I have to go back to my base just to drop off stuff because we got way too many things now. Okay, I just realized something as I was heading back. I think I used all of the filter for the mask. Because at the bottom right, you can see there's like a skull with like a 0%. So I think I completely depleted the mask filter, so I don't think we could go into those like misty areas until I find another filter. Oh, that's unfortunate, but let me drop off stuff and we'll head back. Ooh, I also just noticed it seems like there's like a cave over there. So that might be worth checking out too. I don't know if bandits would be like holed up over there, but let's move on. Oh, sweet, another canister. That's really useful. Yeah, so I think I'll just start looking for ammo for the assault rifle. And besides that, I think I'll just start getting, like, scrap metal components. Oh, rifle ammo. Okay, sweet. So I think that should allow us to switch to it and reload it. Yeah, I mean, only six bullets, so... Probably not the most useful right now, but still, better than nothing. Yeah, while we're here, let's just actually take a quick survey of the whole area. Kind of went into like those two houses and the church. And I think this general store, yeah. But there is like a junkyard thing over here. So I'm assuming you'll find probably a lot of like scrap metal. Got another like barn up there. Another barn here. That one has like a flag in front of it. I don't know if that means if it's maybe like occupied. And then another bigger barn over here. Because I'm kind of liking the idea of a barn being the base. Because it is like two-story, and plus there's a lot of like relatively flat land around it. So if we do want to build more, we have the option to. Okay, so stuff on this side seems a little bit emptier. And it doesn't even seem like we get into this bigger building here. I was kind of hoping this would be like a large department store and we find like lots of good stuff. Oh, sweet, a backpack. Oh, okay, that's so good. Okay, two more slots. Okay, let's go ahead and head to like that barn. I just kind of want to check that out. It just seems odd because it has like a banner or like a flag draped over it. So, I don't know. Maybe it's occupied, maybe not. Because other than that one guy in the beginning, I haven't seen anyone else. What's going on here? Got all these markings on it. Okay, yeah, it's just like completely abandoned. Let's see over here. Got some barrels, cartwheel, and a hose. Interesting. I might take the hose, because maybe that's used for like some irrigation stuff. So, might be useful. What's that red stuff over there? Seems like it might be another one of those like nests. To be honest, this seems like a pretty good spot. It's like, oh my god, what what is that? What the heck? Oh my god. Oh no 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 no. Okay, this is bad. Whoa, what the heck? What the heck? And it, it was like camouflaging to the dirt. You saw that? Oh my god. Uh -oh. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Oh my god, it's not going down. Uh, die already, jeez. Oh my gosh, this is bad. What the heck are you? Okay, so I could like barely outpace it, but not really. Okay, we gotta be hurting pretty bad now. Oh my goodness. That was terrifying. What was that? 
seeker. What the heck? Jeez. Okay, our health is pretty low. Uh, do we go back? I feel like that's not a, a very smart idea. Okay, well, let's take a quick drink of water. Get our stats back up. So, we seem to be okay. Just, again, low health. Yeah, I would have really loved to have more um, M4 ammo. Just unload a whole clip into it, you know? I really hope there's not another one. I don't think I could win another fight against one of those. And as you saw, it kind of like... It kind of camouflaged when it got here. I don't know if maybe that was a glitch, but... It seemed like it definitely changed colors. It was just out in broad daylight, like no problem. Oh, there's another one. Okay, I need to get out of here fast. Yeah, because that thing sees me, I'm dead. What if those spawn from those nests? Okay, I yeah, will have to save that for another day. But I would definitely love to make that a base if we can. Oh, nice. A filter, okay. Let's see, I think we hold T. And I think we just changed out our filter. Oh yeah, okay. So the bottom right, you can see it starts at 99 and then slowly drops over time. Seems about like 1% a second. Okay, so that was, that was just dumb of me wearing the mask for the whole time. My bad. Okay, but we should be able to clear out one of these buildings then. Because I, I could kind of like bait these guys out. Okay, that, that did get a little too close. Okay. Yeah, kind of panicked there for a second. But I think we should be good now. I don't hear anything else. Okay, so this door is locked. And so is this one. Okay, let me close the front door. And then we'll go ahead and break open one of these. I don't think I have a lockpick, so we have to use a crowbar. And take three minutes. Anyone in here? Nope. Got a hammer. Pencil. What else? Oh, thank god. Another backpack. Okay. Okay, that's so helpful. Okay, let's check the other room. Again, got to use a crowbar. And what do we got here? Ammo, revolver ammo. More revolver ammo. Ooh, another filter. Okay. So that was actually pretty good. Well worth it. Although I'm not seeing the nest thing in this one. So I guess we don't have to like clear this one out. What do I not need right now? Because I kind of want to take some of that leather. Oh, what the heck is this? What? What's? Oh, I'm out of a... Uh, oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Go, go, go. Oh, okay. I did not realize my filter had worn out. Dang, that goes by pretty quick. Okay, so I just got to grab stuff I think I need and go. More leather. And I think there's another piece over here. Yeah. Okay, because I'm just going to assume that's useful for, like, crafting. And yeah, we're over here in the community. And I guess what we were at is, like, right over here. That's where we saw those, like, seeker monsters. Our base is over here. Kind of wondering where to go next. And I'm still debating keeping that watchtower as my base, at least for right now. I would love to have that barn area, but... But again, I don't think I could clear out the freaking seeker monsters there. Okay, let's see what we should make next. I kind of want to do some upgrades around here. I think I might try to do the drying rack. Special tool for racking and drying leather. Because all we need is seven sticks. So I think I just need two more branches and we should be good. Let me see. I guess we'll just put this like right there. It's going to take 30 minutes. Okay. Oh, I need my knife, yeah. I forgot I dropped off a lot of my tools over here. Where is it? Also, let me try... Uh, should I take the painkiller? 
Because I don't know if that's going to help with the health or if I should save that for something else. Because I'm guessing it's just going to come back over time, maybe after I go to sleep. Where did I put the knife? Do I not have one anymore? I mean, I can make one with scrap and components, but I think it's going to be like all my scraps. And even then, yeah, I don't have enough for that. Oh, man. I guess in the meantime, I'll try fishing. Let's see how that goes. How do I equip this? Is there actually not fishing? I was kind of hoping there was. Okay, let me go to the river. And maybe it'll give me like a, a prompt or something. Wait, no, 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 come back. Uh, well, I guess I lost the fishing rod. I was kind of hoping to do some fishing or something, but never mind. Let's go ahead and make this stump. Because that seems like it's going to be pretty useful too. Because it says it reduces the time it takes to make firewood, and we get a little bit more each time. And I guess we'll just place this right here. I like how it says we need the axe, but we're using like a wrench to make it. Oh well. Oh yeah, it takes two minutes and gives us five. Whereas we do it by ourselves, takes five minutes and gives us four. Okay. That's actually not too bad. I'm kind of wondering, maybe we should just save up enough materials to make one of these hunting cabins. I feel like it's pretty doable. I'm just worried about the build time since it takes like three days. Wait, no, even longer, right? Four days, yeah. Then maybe we could just find like a nice like flat spot on the map, maybe like somewhere right here, and that would kind of give us access to like just all the other areas, you know. Okay, let me have my guy take a quick nap for now. I just want to see how much the health goes up. Okay, not very much, dang. Yeah, but maybe after a couple hours it wouldn't be too bad. Okay, let's go back to that close barn, and I kind of want to test out the Molotov on that like nest thing. Maybe we'll drop some like good materials or something. Because it kind of makes me wonder if, like, if those creatures can spawn by this thing too, you know? Alright, let's light it up and I guess I just toss it. Hopefully that didn't upset anything in the area. Oh, but there we go, yeah. Now the mist is gone. Okay. Yeah, so now we got access to this area, we can just like openly explore it. I don't think it dropped anything, did it? No. Oh, there is like animal dung apparently. Okay, let's check the upstairs area. Because I didn't check this out last time. Lots of metal scraps. Garden gloves. Maybe those are better than what I have. Very bad versus also very bad. Kind of like the black gloves better. And I'm assuming the jeans are going to be the same thing. Bad and bad, yeah. Ooh, a chainsaw. Does it have a gas? Oh yeah, it's full. Nice. Okay, so I'm assuming that would just like tear through trees. Let me see, I just kind of want to try the chainsaw on a tree. So I think I do, what, F? Yep. Oh my god, yeah, that's so quick. Yeah, that's great if I wanted to build like one of those cabins or something. Because getting wood's no problem with this. Alright, let's check out this other misty house. I don't hear anyone. Which is actually kind of a good sign. Ooh, explosive arrow. I feel like that would have been really useful against that like seeker thing. Unfortunately, we do have to be pretty quick in here. Oh, another filter. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say we kind of got to be quick just because our filter does not last forever. And I really got to keep an eye on it. Yeah, I think I'll leave the, the gloves and jeans here. I'll take another canister. So I'm assuming it wouldn't hurt to just always have like some water on the purifier. Ooh, perfect, another filter. Some more ammo. Oh, a grenade. Dang, okay. That's pretty sweet. And I think I'll hold off on those like sewing kits. I know earlier I said I was going to pick more of them up. But after kind of looking at what I can craft, it doesn't seem 
like there's anything that good right now. I don't know. Maybe later on when I upgrade the the workbench or whatever, maybe there's better stuff. But oh crap! I just realized it's a it's a mist event. Okay. Oh, that's bad. Empty metal case. What? Parts for vehicle customization. Dang. Okay, this is kind of a bad situation for me to be like trapped in this area. Because then I'm reliant on my filter. And then there's like creatures outside. Yep, there's one right over there. And I do think if I make a lot of noise, they'll come in here. So I gotta be careful. Okay, time to change my filter. Did that like... Uh, never mind, okay, I should do it a little bit earlier next time. I was about to say, I thought I did that like perfectly on time, but guess not. Okay, and I think that's just about everything in the house. So, I mean, it was kind of good just for the filters at least. Was that what I was missing for the freaking fishing rod? Maybe it just wasn't complete. Okay, so I think I have to get out of this house and maybe make a run for one of the other houses. Because obviously I can't stay here the whole missed event. Okay, let me sneak to like maybe this building over here. Saw that guy over there. But I think I could take the mask off now. There's another one there. Oh crap, another one there too. Okay. Should be good for right now. Now the question is, do I like... Should I wait out the mist event or should I make a run for my house? I think I might just have to spend the night here. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Went ahead and slept till like 6. And yeah, you can kind of see the health slowly comes back. So I don't think there's actually like... I just gotta sleep it off. And yeah, that's the danger when you're exploring, you know? You're just kind of outside and mist event rolls by, you just gotta wait it out. Now I'm kind of thinking, I should really get a car. Because then I could kind of have my base anywhere I want it to be. And not have to worry too much about distance. Yeah, let me drop off stuff, and maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll try finding components for a car. Because once we do that, we could get a really good view of the map. Okay, we got a tire over here. What does this have? Absolutely nothing. Okay. Yeah, I have a feeling we'd probably find some car parts at that junkyard. So that might be a good place to start. Okay, this one has at least a little bit of gas. So that's an option. This one has spark plugs but no gas, but there's another tire. Let's see. Oh, it takes three minutes. Okay, interesting. Let's just put everything in the trunk of this one for right now. At least until we find another one. Let's check out that truck over here. So this one seems pretty sweet. It's like the most complete. And interesting. I don't know if you could like actually load stuff up on it. Turret station? What? You could put like a gun? That's wild. Okay. I'm kind of liking this truck actually, yeah. yeah. I mean, it literally has nothing in it though, so... Yeah, let's take a look at the junkyard. So it does have the green mist around it, but we should be okay. Because what, we have three extra filters, and then we have the one that's already inside the mask. Alright, let's check it out. I would love to find like a semi-complete car. Or at least car parts, maybe. Okay, this place is like completely empty. I remember the last one at least had some stuff in it. Oh, an engine. Okay, sweet. So I think that just leaves us with like tires, I think. And I think maybe like a battery, some other parts. Okay, but that's our third tire right there. So just one more tire. Oh, too much weight. Okay. So I gotta drop the engine and the tire off. Oh yeah, at the bottom right it says we're at like 84% maximum weight. That makes sense. Ooh, and a battery. Perfect. Okay. I think we might actually have most of the stuff. I think we just might need gas. It's gonna take 20 minutes. Okay, not too bad. Fastest mechanic. 
And then the battery. Oh, cool. And this one actually you kind of you could kind of see the tire. Nice. Okay, let me grab the other tires and I think I need to make a gas can or maybe find one somewhere. I don't think I've seen one though. Let's go ahead and put the spark plugs. I do have to keep an eye on like the outside area because if it gets foggy, I'm kind of got to run inside somewhere and take cover. I thought I had all the tires or maybe I couldn't pick one up, right? That's what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm just dumb. You know, I wonder, does it have to be a gas can? Or maybe I could use one of my containers and just like put it on one of the cars that has gas. Let me check the crafting menu to see if I can make either a gas can or some, maybe some sort of siphon. I'm not seeing anything. Okay, so this canister is empty. So let me go try that on one of these cars. All right, let's see. Nope, it doesn't even take it. Okay, so it definitely has to be a gas can. All right, let's head back and see if we could craft one. Oh, okay, cool. So I have enough stuff to make the gas can. It just takes a long time, but yeah, let's do that. All right, let's see how long this takes. Six minutes, okay. That's pretty reasonable, actually. How much can this take, actually? Let's see if we can fill it up even more. Oh yeah, it's still going, okay. I don't know, I'm gonna guess like maybe 5 liters, I don't know. Yeah, let's go fill up the truck. Might have a little trouble getting it out of here, but that should be okay. Yeah, because everything's 100% other than the spark plugs. So let's go ahead and fill up the tank and hopefully drive it home. Still says red, but I'm assuming that's okay. Oh, there we go. Yeah, a little trouble with that curve, but actually not too bad. Oh my god, yes. Okay, see, now this is the way to get around. We got lights and everything. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. That's actually really great. Okay, well, yeah, let me just get even more gas. Because I don't know how long that's going to last. I'm assuming since it's red, it's just kind of, you know, telling us that it's not going to last that long. Yeah, so kind of topped off with like 5.56 liters. I don't know how much the tank can hold, but... Oh, well. Okay. Let's go ahead and drive this back to our base. You know, hey, while we're here, we might as well get gas from these cars, too. That'd be so cool if I could actually just fill it up from these gas tanks. Oh my god, there was a gas can right here. Okay. Eh, well, now I got extra. Or a spare. You know, I kind of just assumed that if there was one over here, I had already picked it up. But... Guess not. It'd also be pretty good to actually have some spare parts, like those spark plugs. So I actually might go through this area again. I'm not sure how often those, um... Oh, what do I do with that tra with the, the gas can? Did I leave it? Uh... Oh yeah, I left it in the car. My bad. Yeah, it'd be pretty good to have extra spark plug or something. That's the thing with the lowest durability right now. Oh, I'm dehydrated. Okay. Did not see that. Good thing I have this jug of water. Okay, so I did find a combat knife at least. Oh, that's nice. Because that'll at least let us build our like little old drying rack or whatever. I don't know if it would be a good idea to drive this through the river. Probably not. Oh, I ran over that chicken. It's actually a little hard to get to my base from the road. I would have to take a really like long way around. Yeah, that's so awesome to have the truck now. Also, I will say, I think the one downside is that we don't seem to have, like, any storage. Because, at least in the cars, you know, you have, like, the trunk. You could put stuff back there. But since that's just, like, open, it doesn't seem like we get that extra storage. Which, eh. I don't know. Maybe there's, like, some modification. We could build something on it. Alright, let me get this drying rack going. 
Okay, well, let's get this done. Nice. Okay, so for pretty much all these recipes, I need some sort of meat and salt. And for the fish, I need rope. Or the lashing, I guess. Okay, I want to test something, because now that we have the truck, it really opens up the possibilities of where we can, like, move to. I just wonder if we could, like, put stuff on the back, you know? Because I think for some of these things... Yeah, you click M, you can just kind of move it. I'm kind of wondering, what if I could just place it on the back of the truck? And then we just kind of, you know, like, move it like that. Let's see. Uh, maybe? But will that work? Let's see. Okay, yeah, so it didn't fall out. Okay. So eventually it might be good to have, like, a truck and a car. Because then at least with this, I could pretty much just get all my lockers, put it on here, and we're pretty much ready to move somewhere if we need to. Okay, yeah. So next time I think we'll actually explore more of the map now that we have the truck. And we'll kind of look for somewhere to actually settle down and maybe build like um, the hunting cabin or something like that. I kind of like this big area over here just because it's literally the middle area of everything that we have like easy access to the road and we could go wherever we need to. I probably won't move everything until I know where I want to settle down, but at least I have the possibility because yeah, I just do that and I just have to put it on the truck apparently. So that's pretty cool. It makes it a lot easier than having to pick up every single item. So yeah, I think I'll leave it there. Really happy to get the truck going. So see ya. Thanks for watching. Bye.